neutron stars were fully theoretical objects. But just to explain maybe what neutron stars are, first of all, they are the densest matter uh, that we can find in the universe, so like the final bus stop before the black hole. And they pop into existence after stars die, and not just any star, but uh, very massive stars. So if you look at stars that are much more massive, more than eight times more massive than the sun, to be specific, then once hydrogen fuel is exhausted, uh, what happens is then when kind of these lighter atoms fuse together, they form heavier and heavier elements. So from hydrogen, we get helium, from helium, we get uh, carbon, then we get oxygen and, you know, neon, uh, magnesium, silicon, I think afterwards, and finally we get to iron. So all of this kind of, they fuse, they give off energy, the star continues to live. And then at some point when it gets to iron, well, iron actually needs energy. It doesn't, you cannot create energy by fusing iron nuclei. It doesn't happen. Iron is like the end point here of nuclear fusion. So what happens then, you know, when the star is stable and and you have this pressure from nuclear fusion counteracting the pressure of gravity. Well, if you don't have fusion anymore, then basically gravity starts being the only energy source at this point. The core starts to shrink and there's no more resistance to counteract the gravity and everything just goes boom. Protons and electrons get uh, squeezed together and become neutrons. So there are a lot of neutrons and the resulting object is, which is the neutron star, 